Greenland shark is probably one of the most bizarre creatures on the planet. It's actually a deep water shark, and it is prehistoric. It has an extra gill slit uh, than the modern day shark, so it comes from another era. It lives uh, thousands of feet on the bottom, so very few people know about it. The scientists tell you that it's probably one of the largest populations of sharks on the planet because there's no real commercial fishery on it and they live so deep so nobody really comes in contact with it. The Greenland shark is known to live up to 200 years old so you know imagine if they could talk <laughs> what knowledge they would have. Uh, the other bizarre thing is there's these parasitic worms that actually somehow find the shark in the water column they grab onto the tail and then like Mount Everest they hike up and down these scales all the way up to the eyeball of the shark and then they latch onto it and then they spend their entire lives on the eye and they feed off the tissue of the eye. This renders the shark blind. However, the shark doesn't need to really see in order to feed because it lives in dark, deep waters anyhow and it has an incredible sense of smell and that's how it can find its prey and probably also has the ability to pick up on vibrations. The Greenland shark, in my experience, wasn't that dangerous. It was very docile, kind of swam around slowly. Scientists and the Inuit have found in their stomach seals. So there's this idea that they somehow can hunt a seal. Their mouths are more like a nurse shark. The teeth are made for crunching bottom creatures. So they probably don't go after big prey. Um, but if they can get their mouth around a seal, they actually have an extended jaw. It comes out and it locks on and then they do this flipping action. They'll roll like an alligator rolls and they roll left, they roll right, they roll left until they grab a piece out of the animal. So for a human, we didn't feel in danger because it wasn't biting us, it was just kind of swimming by. It's just a fabulous piece of the puzzle of the Arctic ecosystem and exciting that we can swim with it and find one and document it.